Well, this morning, the uh, Petco Superstation is opening back up and resuming vaccinations. The site closed over the weekend because of a shortage of Moderna vaccines. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell joining us live from the site downtown. And Marie, the reopening comes at a crucial time as our county just missed the cut to move out of that most restrictive tier. Yeah, Jim, we are close, but not quite there yet, which means we are going to stay right where we are for at least three weeks. Meanwhile, here at the Petco Superstation, things are scheduled to resume after being closed for several days. Now, officials for UC San Diego Health say over the course of the next 48 hours, at least 4,000 people will receive their second doses of the Moderna vaccine at this Superstation. This site has been closed since Saturday because of a shortage in Moderna vaccines. They say what happens after after tomorrow, when it comes to appointments, will depend on the vaccine availability. Though there have been pauses at this superstation, county officials say we are still leading the state in vaccine rollouts. Progress that's being seen as San Diego moves closer to a less restrictive tier. As of Tuesday, San Diego County is at a case rate of 10.8. 7.0 or below is required for two straight weeks. And then on the third week of 7.0, we would move to that red tier, which means indoor dining could be allowed at 25% capacity. Indoor gyms can open indoors at 10% capacity. And then you have museums, zoos, and aquariums that can open up at 25% capacity. Now, uh, this site does not open until 7, but I feel like for the last hour or so, we've already seen a line of cars in different directions of people waiting to get their vaccine. We are told if you have been impacted by this closure, your appointments uh, should have already been rescheduled. We're live from downtown this morning. Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.